The stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, The Man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today. On this episode, I am thrilled to bring you another installment of In the Know, a series of videos for players who are just beginning to explore what the Arkham Horror LCG has to offer. Today's topic is multi-class cards. Multi-class cards were introduced in the Secret Name Mythos pack, which was released during the Circle Undone cycle. Upgrades for those multi-class cards later appeared in the For the Greater Good Mythos pack. Fantasy Flight Games recently announced that the Edge of the Earth Investigator expansion, which will be released later this year, will contain a plethora of multi-class cards. Given that multi-class cards are about to return with a vengeance, I thought it would be helpful to review the rules for them, especially as they pertain to deck building options for investigators, since at least one investigator will be receiving a simple errata that will change their relationship with multi-class cards dramatically. If you enjoy this type of content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a great deal. Before we get started, I'd like to thank the patrons of this channel for their tremendous support. The Arkham Horror LCG community is amazing, and these people have gone above and beyond to bring you content like these videos in the In the Know series. Special thank you to Alex, the latest patron to Embrace the Darkness. Thank you so much, Alex, for your support. It is greatly appreciated here as the Arkham Horror LCG enters a new era. If you'd like to become a patron and support the channel's goals, follow the link down below, sign up for a tier of your choice, and claim your rewards. That would be awesome. Without further ado, let's dive into multi-class cards. The first question that we need to answer is, what is a multi-class card? A multi-class card is a card that bears multiple class icons instead of one, and it is considered a card of each of those classes. The other important rule to remember about multi-class cards is that they cannot take up more than one out-of-class deck slot, regardless of how many class icons that card bears. For example, the Secret Name expansion contained a total of five multi-class cards, the 45 Thompson, a Guardian and Rogue asset, Scroll of Secrets, a Seeker and Mystic asset, Tennessee Sour Mass, a Rogue and Survivor asset, Enchanted Blade, a Mystic and Guardian asset, and Grizzly Totem, a Survivor and Seeker asset. Singling out the 45 Thompson for a moment, it has a Guardian and Rogue icon, and it is considered both a Guardian and Rogue card for all purposes. And while it is considered both a Guardian and Rogue card, it cannot take up more than one out-of-class deck slot despite having two class icons. The other multi-class cards follow similar rules, We've never seen a multi-class card with more than two class icons, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it won't happen. Perhaps the Edge of the Earth the Investigator expansion will explore uh, that particular design space. It's worth noting that each of these multi-class assets received two upgrades in the For the Greater Good Mythos pack, one for each class. For example, there are Guardian and Rogue versions of the 45 Thompson, both of which have different resource costs and game text. There were no multi-class cards greater than level 0 included in the Circle Undone cycle. The Edge of the Earth Investigator expansion is expected to contain many multi-class cards, including Medical Student, a Guardian and Seeker asset, Michael Lay, a level 5 Guardian and Seeker asset, Divination, a level 1 Seeker and Mystic asset, and Blur, a level 1 Rogue and Mystic asset. Unlike the Circle Undone cycle, the Edge of the Earth Investigator expansion will contain multi-class cards with a level greater than zero. While it is possible that some of the multi-class cards in the expansion will receive an upgrade or upgrades for each class, the presence of multi-class cards with a level greater than zero suggests MJ Newman and her design team have decided to move in a different direction. I uh, can't help but imagine that creating two upgrades for each multi-class card included in the secret name was a challenge, it's important to remember that all those quote-unquote duplicate upgrades count against the overall card count for an expansion as well. I think that uh, moving two multi-class cards with a level greater than zero will allow the designers to offer a greater variety of cards, which is a big plus. The rules for multi-class cards are pretty straightforward, but it can get a little tricky when you sit down to build an investigator deck due to the various deck building uh, options in the game. Let's review how multi-class cards interact with those options. Generally speaking, a multi-class card can be included in an Investigator's deck if that Investigator has access to either of that card's classes. At the time of this recording, if an Investigator has limited access to one of the classes on a multi-class card and unlimited access to one of the other classes on that card, it will still occupy one of the Investigator's limited slots unless their deck building restrictions contain the word Other in it. Let's take a look at a few examples. 
Investigators with unlimited access to more than one class, such as all Corset investigators, Minte Fan, Safina Rousseau, William York, Leo Anderson, Joe Diamond, Preston Fairmont, Diana Stanley, Tommy Muldoon, Luke Robertson, Patrice Hathaway, Sister Mary, Trish Scarborough, and Dexter Drake can include a multi-class card in their deck if it falls into either of the listed classes. The deck building options for investigators in this group follow a very similar format. They have class A level 0, 1 to 5, neutral cards level 0 to 5, and class B cards level 0 to 2. For example, Medical Student is a level 0 guardian and seeker asset. Roland Banks, Daisy Walker, and Skids O'Toole, among many others, may include it in their deck because they have unlimited access to either the guardian or seeker classes. Michael Lay is a level 5 guardian and seeker asset. Roland Banks and Daisy Walker, among others, may include it in their deck because they have unlimited access to either level 5 Guardian or Seeker classes. However, Schizo Tool is, uh, as well as William York, Diana Stanley, Luke Robinson, and Trish Scarborough may not include Michael Lay in their decks because they may not include either level 5 Guardian or Seeker cards. Multi-class cards work slightly differently in the 5 Investigators from the Dunwich Legacy Deluxe Expansion. Zoe Samaras, Rex Murphy, Jenny Barnes, Jim Culver, and Ash Can Pete. The deck building options for these investigators use the following format. Class A cards, level 0 to 5. Neutral cards, level 0 to 5. And up to 5 level 0 cards from any other class. Note the phrase other class here, since a multi-class card won't count against that investigator's limited slots as long as they have unlimited access to one of the card's other classes. Let's take another look at Medical Student, the Guardian and Seeker asset that will be released in Edge of the Earth. Zoe Samaras and Rex Murphy can include Medical Student in their deck without it counting against the 5 level 0 cards from any other class because they have unlimited access to the Guardian and Seeker classes respectively. The same is true if either investigator wants to include Michael Lay in their deck. If, say, Jenny Barnes, Jim Culver, or Ashcan Pete wanted to include Medical Student in their decks, then it would count against the 5 level 0 cards from any other class, since neither investigator has unlimited access to either the Guardian or Seeker classes. It's important to note here if Jenny, Jim, or Ash Ken wants to include Medical Student in their respective decks, the card would only take up one of their 5 level 0 cards from another class, not two. Remember, a multi-class card cannot take up more than one out-of-class slot, regardless of how many class icons the card bears. Investigators with unlimited access to one class and limited access to one or more other classes, such as Marie Lambeau, Finn Edwards, and Carolyn Fern, take a similar approach to multi-class cards. A multi-class card will not occupy one of that investigator's limited slots as long as it falls into one of the unlimited categories. Let's take a look at an example. Finn Edwards has the following deck building options. Illicit cards, level 0 to 5. Rogue cards, level 0 to 3. Neutral cards, level 0 to 5, and up to 5 other level 0 Seeker and or Survivor cards. Note the phrase, up to 5 other level 0 Seeker and or Survivor cards here. Tennessee Sour Mash is a multi-class Rogue and Survivor asset from the Secret Name Mythos pack. It also happens to have the illicit keyword. While Tennessee Sour Mash is a Survivor card, it doesn't count against the 5 other level 0 Seeker and or Survivor cards that Finn may play, since it falls into two of his other unlimited categories, those being Illicit Cards, level 0 to 5, and Rogue Cards, level 0 to 3. Grizzly Totem, a Survivor and Seeker multi-class asset, on the other hand, does count against Finn's five other level 0 Seeker and or Survivor cards, since it's neither an Illicit Card, level 0 to 5, a Rogue Card, level 0 to 3, or a Neutral Card, level 0 to 5. It's important to remember that a multi-class card cannot take up more than one out-of-class slot regardless of how many class icons the card bears, so Grizzly Totem only counts against one of Finn's five other level 0 Seeker and or Survivor cards, not two. That brings us to the curious case of Norman Withers, a Seeker investigator originally released as a promo in the Ire of the Void novella. At the time of this recording, Norman is the odd man out when it comes to multi-class cards, since he has unlimited access to one class, in this case level 0 Seeker cards, and limited access to a second class, level 0 Mystic cards. However, it is important to note that Norman's deck building options don't include the word Other, so a multi-class card will occupy one of his limited slots, even if it also falls into the unlimited category. 
The most notorious example of this problem is Scroll of Secrets, a level 0 seeker and mystic asset from the secret name Mythos pack. Norman can include Scroll of Secrets in his deck since it is both a level 0 seeker and level 0 mystic card. However, since Norman's deck building options don't include the word other, Scroll of Secrets counts as one of his five level 0 mystic cards, which is not ideal. However, that is all going to change with Norman's official release in the Edge of the Earth Investigator expansion. Designer MJ Newman has revealed that Norman will be receiving a simple errata that adds the word other to his deck building options. This means that level 0 seeker and mystic cards, such as the Scroll of Secrets, will no longer occupy his limited mystic slots. It's safe to assume that other investigators in the Edge of the Earth Investigator expansion with similar deck building options will adopt similar wording. This uh, simple errata will give Norman and other investigators, such as Lily Chen, a lot more flexibility when it comes to including multi-class cards in their deck. I for one am looking forward to playing Enchanted Blade Zero in a Lily Chen deck without it occupying her limited level 0 guardian slots, assuming of course that Lily's deck building options are, are similar to those of Norman's. MJ Newman didn't give me a timeline for when the errata will become official, but I think it's safe to assume that it will be included in the next FAQ, which she said will drop quote-unquote soon. While we wait for the official word of the errata from MJ, I don't see any harm in adopting the errata if you build a Norman deck now. FFG's preview for the Edge of the Earth Investigator expansion featured a lot of exciting tools for Norman, including his signature asset and weakness, and I'm sure there are a lot of players out there who are eager to unleash Norman's full potential. Finally, we come to Lola Hayes, the neutral investigator released in the Path to Carcosa Deluxe expansion. Lola's deck building options are unique in that she can include Guardian Seeker, Rogue Mystic, and Survivor cards level 0 to 3 and neutral cards level 0 to 5. However, her deck must include at least seven cards from each of three different classes, which uh, makes building a Lola deck a little more challenging than other investigators. Multi-class cards are a boon to Lola because they count as a card of each of its classes toward her additional requirements, giving her more deck building flexibility. Returning to our previous example of Medical Student, it will count as both a Seeker and Guardian card for Lola, which means she needs only six additional cards from each class to meet her additional deck building requirements. At the time of this recording, there are only five multi-class cards in the game, which doesn't give Lola that many multi-class options to explore and exploit. The flood of multi-class cards expected in Edge of the Earth, especially multi-class cards with a level greater than zero, such as Divination and Blur, should make Lola fans very happy indeed. I expect players who really enjoy deck building will have a lot of fun with Lola once Edge of the Earth uh, hits the shelves. That's going to do it for my look at multi-class cards in the Arkham Horror LCG. MG Newman and her design team introduced multi-class cards in the Circle Undone cycle, but they left plenty of design space to explore. I think it's uh, very fitting that they are revisiting multi-class cards in the Edge of the Earth Investigator expansion, which is all about exploring parts unknown. Personally, I can't wait to see what they come up with as the Arkham Horror LCG enters a new area, era with its new, and uh, many of whom would argue, improved release model. That's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed what you hear, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromlang. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there, and happy investigating.